What's up, everybody? Jackson here. And today I'm going to be talking about something so that's that scares the absolute hell out of me. So it's going to take a minute because I want to properly to explain why I'm making this video and why this scares the shit out of me. And I'm talking today about YouTube Heroes, this new initiative they have. I'm going to have a couple videos down below. If you're interested in learning more about it, I'd suggest you click on them. Um, <clears throat> this scares me. And if you guys know my channel, you know that I'm not one to hop on bandwagon trends. Unless it affects me personally and I have something to talk about personally on the issue. Because I'm not one of those guys who likes to bullshit and talk about some shit that I have no idea what I'm talking about. I like to be informed and that way I know where my feet stand. Because the older I get, the more I realize that it's better just to kind of be wise about something before you go start piping off about it. And the reason YouTube Hero scares the absolute shit out of me is because if humankind has taught us one thing, it's that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. It's an old, I don't even remember where the quote come from, but it's very, very common quote. Um, and this is true, okay? Now, what these people are suggesting, what the YouTube initiative is, this in new YouTube heroes. Basically, people would have the ability, after a certain amount of time, granted, they would have to earn the right to do this, okay? But at a certain point in time, they could mass flag videos, they could delete any comments on any channel they wanted, and they could basically just decide what is allowed to be shown, all right? And granted, you could probably, there's probably going to be a repeal process and things like that. But honestly, having some experience with repealing things and trying to get things back under your control that were clearly yours to begin with and no one else's, it's very hard. It's very hard. I have had one commenter who I was arguing with rationally, uh, you know, and yes, I was being insulting, but that was because he was also in turn being insulting. So I'm not going to sit there and let someone insult me and not say a jab back if I have a jab to give because this person is easily jabbable, right? And so that was, that was the thing about it. And he, he didn't like my comments. So he started reporting them for harassment and they, my comments were disappearing. I, I tried replying to him two or three times and he just kept replying, re, you know, harassment, harassment, harassment. And fucking every single one of my comments got went away, right? Now, this is on a video on my channel. This is on a comment that he started, an argument that he started, a personal attack first comment, right? Attacking me, attacking my opinion on fucking paid DLC and season passes and things of that nature. Attacking me, right? So I defended myself on my channel. This is this is as if, there. okay, if you were going to do a really ridiculous metaphor for this, you could say that I was chilling in my fucking room, hanging out, and this dude came in and said I couldn't think the way I thought and called me a fucking bitch. And so when I called him a dickbag back... He called the cops and they came in and put a gag around my mouth. All right. That's essentially what occurred. So I said, fuck you, because I have a little more power on my channel than you do, motherfucker. I'll delete your whole comments and block you. All right. And I don't want to do that. Okay. Because, and you guys can check. Go look at comments. There are comments calling me a faggot, comments calling me a bitch, comments saying I cry, I'm salty, all these flavors you choose to be salty, right? Dumb, dumb, pointless shit. But then there's shit where people are like, you need to go kill yourself. Like, you sound fat as fuck, blah, blah, blah. You should go kill yourself, shit. Like, shit that, like, if I was a baby-ass fucking millennial, I'd be like, oh, fuck. They hurt my feel-bads. No, I just can't, I can't stand it. You know what I mean? And no, I don't. I approve every fucking comment on my channel. I approve comments on my channel linking fucking videos to other people's channels who don't give a fuck about my content. Nothing. They're here because they fucking got suggested a video. So they said, I'm going to go throw a comment on there suggesting people watch my video. I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't hurt me. It helps me to have that extra comment on the channel. So I'll fucking I'll allow that comment on the channel. I do not want to shut down people's opinions in any way. That's not what I'm about, okay? My channel isn't here to silence. My channel is here to attack bad ideas and bad business practices within the video game industry, all right? And for that, I catch a lot of heat 
from people. I think it's because my wor my words really do ring true. On a, on a fucking deep level with these people, my words ring true. So when I'm talking shit on people who are spending upwards of five, six hundred dollars on Destiny and saying that they are the problem because they have supported this company that has delivered nothing but reskin content, right? And they've, they've treated their player base like shit. They've cut, you know? So when I say that, I get attacked by a lot of people and I understand that you want to defend, you know, and I, you don't need to defend it to me because I've already said Destiny is an amazing game and I can see why people want to keep playing it. And the way that Bungie has orchestrated it at this point, if you've been playing from day one, you're in this game upwards of fucking 250 bucks or some such thing. I can't remember, but it's a lot. You're upward, in upwards of $200 for the game, right? So that's $200 that you would have spent if you just bought it on one platform. A lot of people upgraded because of Destiny. Upgraded to the PlayStation 4. Upgraded to the Xbox One. So they purchased it twice there. All right, I'm one of those people. I've personally spent $180 on Destiny, okay? So it's, it's, it's and I, I, that's why I can say these things. I can say these things because I'm allowed to say these things. I fucked up, I bought the first two, the base game and the, the first two expansions in the season pass. I learned from my mistake, I didn't buy the Taken King, I didn't buy the Rise of Iron, and I've been telling people not to buy it, all right? Because of that, I've been attacked vehemently, all right? And when this YouTube Heroes thing came up, and I started to look at what it was, I had a fucking flashback. And I was all of a sudden, I was in fucking 10th grade again. My first fucking couple of weeks of fucking high school. And I was a smoker. I was a bad fucking kid, all right? Don't fucking smoke, by the way. It's fucking stupid and it kills you, all right? I'm quitting very soon. But either way, I was a smoker, so I had cigarettes. I got caught with them. And my punishment, they had this thing called a peer, peer review court or peer court or something like that. Basically what it was, was it was the staff's brilliant plan that they would bring in honor students and people like that to sit and judge the students who have been caught. And so I had to go to this thing. It was at a later point in time. Wasn't even held at the fucking school, mind you. This was held at the fucking city hall. This was legally binding. They gave fucking children my age legal precedence over my punishment for having cigarettes at school and not being fucking 19 years old. Because in Utah you have to be 19. You can go to war. You can fucking fight and die for your fucking country. God forbid you can have a fucking smoke and drink a fucking beer when you get home. Alright. A fucking 2.8% alcohol beer. Anyway. That, so when I get in there I'm looking up at this fucking the, 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 it's, They're sitting at like the city council fucking seating Like this is legit I'm not making this up This is one of the things that ultimately led to me Dropping out of high school Saying fuck this I'm gonna go just get my GED Because I'm smarter than all these motherfuckers anyway So I'll just go fucking take the GED test Pass it first time And not worry about it anymore And that's exactly what I did Alright so these people, I'm looking at one of them and I recognize him. And he's not a good kid, all right? That, that's subjective or whatever. I mean, he's not a bad guy. But according to what this court is holding me accountable for and, like, holding me guilty for, by those standards, this kid isn't a good kid, okay? But he's all of a sudden in a position to where he's able to decide my fate and they decided on 40 hours community service. 40 fucking hours community service for a fucking 16 year old. I may have even been 15. I can't even fucking remember. All right. So that's a whole work week on top of school. Right. So after fucking school, I had to go fucking do this shit. And eventually I said, fuck it. I fucking dropped out of school because that shit wasn't legal for me to be there. But it was fucking absolutely legal. I could have went to fucking juvenile detention. If I had gone against this fucking hypocrite's fucking decision... To fucking what I, what my punishment should be based on fucking my actions, right? That's a real thing that happened where I'm from, okay? And that's immediately where my mind went when I started to see this fucking goddamn bullshit. Alright?
with this YouTube Heroes. And I watched the Chris Ray Gun video, and after that, it was like, yep, that's that's what will happen. This this power that you give these little simple people is going to be abused, YouTube. And it scares me because there was a guy who fucking commented on my Battleborn video who was basically, he was rude from the start. Fucking rude. Telling me I'm an asshole. Telling me this, that, or the other. I'm a fucking, I'm the reason games suck because I'm bitching about the amount of content in a fucking $60 AAA title that was fucking misrepresented by the company who made it. Right? I'm not only that, I'm entitled. I'm a fucking punk, chump, bitch, and I should go fucking, you know. But guess what? At any point in time during this, you know, and he's using his real name. Right. And so I'm using his real name when I'm responding to him. All right. And so because of that, in this video where I'm bashing this guy who really is an asshole and I feel bad about my first asshole because he's not an asshole. He's fucking and it's not even that he ever was an asshole. We were both fucking assholes. We were both hostile to each other. But in this guy's case, like legitimately, I tried to fucking talk with him. And get him to see my point of view by being positive, being nice after he's being a fucking dick, telling me all this shit, right? But he never fucking gave a fuck, right? And to think, if YouTube Heroes has, had existed, okay, I would have uploaded my Asshole of the Month video about this guy. And all of his friends could have been potential fucking goddamn YouTube fucking heroes. And they come flying in with their cape, and they shut down what I'm fucking doing what I'm trying to do on my channel because it hurts someone's feelings right it hurts someone's feelings I swear a whole fucking lot all right because that's just who I am and I'm sorry but I'm not going to apologize for being who I am all right and I apologize that I'm not going to apologize but I'm not going to apologize okay because I'm sick of goddamn having to explain myself to people about the way I talk on my channel all right that isn't fucking, you know, and that's why I don't make videos to follow trends, right? I don't. I didn't say shit about when they fucking added this new fucking content or advertiser-friendly content fucking guideline shit. Didn't say a thing. Doesn't affect me. I'm not near monetization yet. I'm nowhere fucking near that point, okay? So that doesn't affect me, so why would I make a video? This affects me because this stops me from ever getting there. This shuts my, da my channel down as effectively as if you took a shotgun out, put it to the back of a fucking deer's head, and pulled the trigger. This ends my chances at ever having a chance doing this. Because if I offend the wrong group of people, like Destiny fans, which I have done on so many goddamn occasions, it's not even funny. I can't even remember how many times at this point, how many of these people I've been have pissed off. Imagine they just be able to fucking do some fucking fill out some fucking subtitles for a video for a couple months they can come back and they can flag every channel on my video on my every video on my channel they can delete every comment on my channel gone i wouldn't have a word to say about it couldn't do nothing about that you know maybe i could repeal that the videos but man that's that's why it scares me because we're currently living in a world where hurt feelings win. Anyone who's been bullied, anyone who feels like they've they've been victimized, they win. And the you know there we're not living in a time anymore where there's <clears throat> you know proper due due process. All right, there's not it's not you know we are tried in a fucking public opinion court. Like, even if fucking Bill Cosby had been... Like, say that was all bullshit, which it wasn't. But say it was. Say it was all bullshit. All the lies. And Bill Cosby was proved innocent beyond a shadow of reasonable doubt. It wouldn't matter. Because a lot of people would still look at him for fucking rapist. And that's... It goes a lot of... It goes the way, you know, it does. Alright? And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not worried too much about most of the people on YouTube. Because I see a lot of savvy, smart, intellectual people on YouTube that fucking understand it. And get the way it's, you know, the way it's going on. What's going on and things. And so I'm not worried about a whole lot of people. But then again, I've got a channel that has unpopular opinions. And expresses unpopular beliefs. And, you know, 
I I fucking I worry about it because what what's to stop fuck you know and don't okay here's the thing I'm gonna start getting into something I don't want to start an argument I just want to say that Bungie is paying people to promote on YouTube okay and the, the reason I say that is because whether or not they're paying them privately or whatever I'm not saying they are but I'm saying that they, these people are getting early access trips to Bungie HQ all paid for probably a tits out fucking sweet this is a big game it makes a lot of money these people are not fucking putting you up at like the fucking local days in all right and so you're getting all of these perks you get to go in hang out with the developers of the game you fucking love you get a fucking you know they pay for your mills they pay for your you know your whole experience there and then you leave and you promote their game and it helps sell their game okay I, you're getting paid to fucking promote the game at that point in my own personal opinion i don't want to start a huge argument about it all right but what's to stop those guys people like that privately talking to a bunch of their people and starting a fucking huge uproar with all of the youtube heroes who have you know done the time got the points and now they're free to come over to my channel and shut me down or be dobbins channel and shut him down Say, this is harassment. This is, you know, whatever. It, it need to be harder in B. Dobbins' choice, but, or instance, but he swears in a lot of those videos. He fucking swears. You know what I mean? He says faggot a couple times, you know? In reference to people saying it because he doesn't say it, you know, he's just, this is how people fucking talk because they're dumb, right? But this is the point, all right? This is the point. Is at the end of the day, they could say that that's harassment. They could say he's being homophobic. He's being a complete fucking asshole. Shut him the fuck down. And they could do it. Because they would have that power to mass flag all of those. And what if there was fucking a hundred or so people that were all working in sync? You think YouTube's going to take a look at those repills? You think YouTube's going to give a shit whether or not those videos are showing up on people's channels? You think those YouTube's going to give a shit if those people are blatantly fucking going through and deleting whatever comments they fucking decide? This is nonsense. And it's... I don't know. From YouTube, it just seems like the dumbest fucking... Just the dumbest idea of all time. Like, let's just, let's just let the community police itself. Like, they know. They know what's right. And they know what they want. And ultimately, that's who's, you know, make, the income's for coming from anyways. The viewers. So let's let the viewers dictate what happens on YouTube. It's fucking brilliant. Nothing could ever go wrong from this. I just, you know, it's just... Uh, nothing can go wrong. Nothing. Like, who, where is this boardroom and who are these fucking people? They seem like cartoon fucking characters in my head right now. Because this idea is so fucking comical that I can't fucking believe that actual human beings came up with this. And that they think that this won't backfire in a huge bad way. And be a problem for not only fucking, not only fucking big channels. But what, who's, you know, this is going to stop little guys from ever having a chance. They're, we're just going to give up. I'm going to say fuck it. I'm going to say fuck it, you know. Because if that happens, if that literally happened, that would be so fucking goddamn disheartening. That it would fucking ruin the YouTube experience for me. And I would no longer want to be a content creator. And they would have effectively shut up someone who was talking against anti-consumer fucking, you know. And that's a thing. Like, I never really had an idea of what I was doing here. I was basically, you know, my big deal was I just want to hold these motherfuckers accountable. I don't want people lying and being shady and getting away with it. Not only getting away with it, getting tons of fucking money in the process. Because in my opinion, that's one of the biggest problems with humanity and always fucking has been. And probably always will be. Okay, and so with that in mind, I never really had a, an idea of what my channel was. And then my buddy Aristotle recommended a channel to me, and it's it's Rags. I'll have a link to his sh fucking shit down below too, and a video of his that he did the other night that's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. It's it says it in a way that I've never been able to say it, and probably never will be able to say it. To save it, but he finally gave a label to what I am and what my channel is. I am pro consumer. Okay, I want people who are spending money to not be getting fucked over for that money. 
That's it. That's pure and simple, right? And if this goes through and these YouTube heroes fly in on with their fucking, you know, capes and they're like, oh, look, I don't like the way that you, this guy said, you know, like, fuck you, you little bungee fanboy fuck. Which I've said that. Fuck you, you little bungee fanboy fuck. All right? Usually in response to a fuck you or why you so salty or something like that. A dumbass fucking thing. I just respond in kind. If someone uses intellectual fucking, you know, thought in their fucking comment and actually wants to have an argument with me, I will gladly step up my comments and continue to and argue with that person because I want discussion. It's the only way we fix problems. It's not by shutting down voices and giving people the opportunity and the power to do that. Normal fucking everyday people who have biases, who have fucking goddamn objectives, uh, you know, points, opinions of their own. You know, and that's the point. You don't give someone that power. I wouldn't want that power. I wouldn't want the power to be able to go shut down the bungee fluff boys. I don't want that. I want them to become irrelevant because no one's watching them. Not because someone physically makes them makes it so they can no longer have a voice. That's complete bullshit. And that's just as fucking that's just as much of a possibility is these bungee fluff boys could be shut down. For no reason. Maybe one of them swears. They could be shut down because they don't, you know, apply to the guidelines. YouTube has given someone who doesn't like their content the power to shut their content down. This is no longer an issue of who's right and who's wrong in this argument. This is the issue of whether or not this argument even exists in the fucking future. All right? This argument, several other arguments. All right. I don't want anybody being shut down. I don't want anybody being told they can't make videos. I don't want anyone to be told they can't have a voice. That is fucking horseshit. That is fascism to the next fucking level. That's a dictatorship. All right. And you can call it a democracy because the fucking goddamn dictator has a hundred million minds, but that doesn't make that fucking thing less of a dictator. So, we're now in a situation on YouTube where we all have to really worry about what we say. So I'm going to have to go through, and now at this point in time, I'm already forced to censor myself. I'm already going to be forced to censor myself. I'm going to have to cut it out with the language. I'm not going to be able to be who I am because it might hurt somebody's feelings to hear a naughty word. And that sucks. And it sucks even more when you think about how far this could go. When you take a moment to stop and think of all the times in history that you can personally think of. Because I'm sure everyone knows some. Everyone knows some at some point in time in history when someone was shut up and silenced. And their voices weren't fucking, you know, valued no one cared. They said, fuck ya. you. We don't agree with you. And your opinion runs counteractive to ours. So we're going to shut you up. I mean, if you just think about all of the fucking... Like most of the fucking things that we have of ancient Greece and things like that were saved by Muslims. Because the Catholic Church went on a religious rampage. They were destroying statues. There was one Pope he went through and he just... He had a fucking hammer and he knocked the dicks off of every statue in the fucking Vatican right because it didn't it didn't suit his own personal moral view it didn't suit his own personal outlook on everything that he believed right so he censored it he shut it down a lot of that shit was fucking carted out and held in jerusalem you know and this this whole idea that fucking it's it's okay at this point in history to assume that all of these people that you give this power to, YouTube, that all of these people, not a single fucking one of them is going to abuse it. Not a single one. I would bet you fucking, the odds are that the percentage of on, the percentage on people who will abuse it is higher than that from the ones who won't abuse it. And that's scary. Because I won't be doing it. I don't want to do it. And I think that most reasonable level-headed human beings will not want to participate in this 
They will not want to be like, okay, you know what I need to do? I need to start leveling up in this program so that I can decide what content is available to people on YouTube. No. I, I really don't think any reasonable person is going to do that. I think that when this happens, when all of these people start showing up, when channels are inevitably getting flags out the ass, comments are disappearing all over the fucking place, when shit hits the fan, I think you'll finally see the type of person who is interested in becoming a YouTube hero. And that's someone who wants the power to shut down any opposing idea. Any opposing idea that they don't like, that they don't agree with. And that's not all going to be one person, one side view. We're going to have, you're going to have fucking pro-abortion channels getting shut down just as fast as you are fucking whatever the fuck, pro-lifers. Both sides of that argument are going to be getting shut down because the assholes on either side of that fucking argument are both going to have become YouTube heroes because they're assholes and they're going to want to shut up the opposing opinion, right? And it's just going to cause this fucking mass fucking... Just this horrible fucking situation on YouTube where anyone who gets offended by anything can take, you know, extreme measures and delete comments that they don't deem appropriate. And I just think of like all the people who have defended me in comments. How quickly could their d comments disappear and those people's comments stay? And they just decide, you know, they rule what the narrative is at that point. They've decided what the narrative is. You know, nothing, nothing that any of us reasonable thinking human beings who understand that just because someone doesn't agree with us doesn't make them bad people just because someone says a point that runs counteractive to someone what to our personal opinion doesn't mean that they should be silenced because the information should be there for everyone so that everyone can make up their own goddamn minds you don't shut people up you don't shut down discussion you don't you know this is why we never learn as a fucking species from any of our mistakes, from any of our failures, and why we always repeat them is because we just don't care about it. We don't care anymore. We just don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear anybody else's opinion. We've got our made, minds made up. We're infallible. We fucking know everything there is to know. And anyone else is just spitting bullshit and blah, blah, blah. And that's how humans are. All right? To a degree, every single fucking one of us is arrogant. Every single one of us would abuse this power. Every single one of us. That's why this power shouldn't exist outside of the hands of YouTube. You want to have a program like this to shut down hateful shit? Because I know there's tons of hateful shit. Trust me, don't get me started on hateful shit on the internet. There's all sorts of backwards, fucking ass thinking, ridiculous hatred, stupid people, bigotry out the ass. Right? It happens. I get it. Right? And that needs to be fucking silenced. Okay? I get it. You don't want to have a guy like Keemstar making millions when he's a clear fucking racist. Right? When he makes statements like, you are lower than me because the color of your skin. Right? And people like that should be shut the fuck up. Alright? Because they're spitting evil shit. And, it, you know, a lot of people don't recognize that a lot of the people on YouTube are children. There's a lot of kids on YouTube. That watch a whole lot of YouTube. Not my channel. My fucking demographic is fucking straight up fucking tw 22 to mid 30s. You know? And I like that. Because that speaks to my sub base. I've got, you know, intelligent adult subscribers. I've got intelligent young subscribers. Right? And you guys understand what I'm saying and what I'm doing over here. You understand even if you disagree with me at points. And even though you disagree with me at points, you wouldn't want me shut up. You wouldn't want me shut up. It's like Jim Sterling. I disagree with that man all the fucking time. Sometimes I think he's a straight up dick. Sometimes he can be an asshole, a douche. But you know what? Sometimes he's fucking right spot the fuck on. Right? And even when he's not... In my opinion, right? It's because it's my opinion. Right? It doesn't mean he's objectively wrong. It just means I personally disagree with him. Should he be shut up? 
because I personally don't agree with that one video? Should I have the power to pick and choose what Jim Sterling episodes stay on his fucking channel? And what ones he's just got to have on his website? No, I shouldn't have that power. No one else should either. The fucking, this is ridiculous. It's wrong. And it scares the absolute shit out of me. <sighs> this is, this is the beginning of a very dark time. And it scares me because I'm putting a lot of fucking stock into what I'm trying to do over here. And it gets hard to believe when fucking people that you love in your life don't even believe in you, you know. And it makes it even harder to justify your decision to those people when shit like this keeps happening. Anyway, guys, that's it for me, Jackson. I'm out of here. I'm sorry. I just... I This is one I had to do a video on. You know, I'll ignore the ones that don't concern me. The shit that don't fucking have anything to do with me. And I'm not going to be overly political or nothing like that because I'm libertarian. Don't fuck with me and I won't fuck with you. Alright? That's it. That's my belief. And I won't fuck with you. I won't fuck with your channel. Just don't fuck with mine. And YouTube, don't give people the ability to fuck with my channel. <sighs> Till next time, keep being awesome, guys. I love you. Sorry I got heated. Just, just a little scared, tripping, a little shaky over here. Talk to y'all later.